Good morning! Today you will learn about keyboarding. Don't you know that there are six literacy skills that a student should acquire? And one of those is keyboarding. Keyboarding is a skill of typing data correctly and quickly using a computer keyboard. Keyboarding is a lifelong skill. It enhances all other communication skills like writing, spelling, and grammar skills. Keyboarding could also help you to become more imaginative. You could also become fast thinker who can compose text quickly and easily. To become successful in keyboarding, there are three essential skills that are needed. The proper keyboarding techniques, the accuracy, and the speed. The accuracy is the ability to always press or type the correct keys at a given time, while the speed refers to the number of words or keystroke that you can type in a minute. To achieve good accuracy and speed, it's the proper keyboarding techniques that will help you through. Proper keyboarding techniques is the observance of proper posture, correct wrist, hand, and finger position, and correct finger movements. Let us begin with proper posture. But as I tell you how it goes, I would like you to follow and do it. Okay, are you ready? When you do keyboarding, you have to always sit up straight. Keep your back against the chair. Keep your feet flat on the floor. And keep your eyes level on the monitor. The next one is the position of your elbows. Keep your elbows hanging naturally, resting at your side. And the last one is the position of your body. Make sure that your body is always at the center of the keyboard. Great! See, you can do it! Let us do now the correct wrist, hand, and finger position. And again, I would like you to follow and do it. Are you ready now? When you do keyboarding, your wrist must be off the keyboard. Your wrist should not touch down the keyboard or the table. The next are the fingers position. If you notice, if your wrists are off the keyboard, it's easy for your fingers to curve up and be in upright position. Very good! See, you can do it too! And now, one of the most important thing that you have to remember when you do keyboarding is the correct position of your left hand and right hand fingers on the home keys. Each finger on your left hand and right hand has its assigned home keys. This home keys will guide you for you to easily reach up and reach down the other keys on the keyboard. Are you ready? Again, I would like you to press it on the keyboard as soon as I tell you which letter is assigned on that finger. Let us begin first with the left hand. Left hand pinky should press the letter A. The ring should press the S. The middle, the letter D. And the index, the letter F. How about your right hand? Your right hand index must press the letter J. Middle is for letter K. Ring is for letter L. 
and the right hand pinky for the semicolon. How about the two thumbs? Your left hand and right hand thumb should press the space bar on your keyboard. Are your fingers positioned now on the correct home keys? Let us check. Are your left hand and right hand fingers positioned like this on the home keys? If not, kindly position the left hand and right hand fingers on their assigned home keys. That's it. See, you can do it too. Hey, do you find it difficult keeping your left hand and right hand fingers on their assigned home keys? Well, I have a tip for you to easily do that. First, I would like you to take a look on these two letter keys on the keyboard. I would like you to look at them carefully. The letter F and the letter J. What have you observed on these two keys? Have you seen this? And this? Yes, these are raised bumps. These two keys have raised bumps, so it will keep your index fingers to always be in position. And for that, it will help the other fingers to find their way to always locate and be in position on their assigned home keys. Why don't you try it? Try to feel and sense the raised bumps of these two keys. That's the tip that I would like to give you. Part of the proper keyboarding techniques are the correct movements of fingers. When you do keyboarding, you have to press the key with a quick and snappy stroke. And you have to return again the fingers to home key after every stroke. I hope this tutorial will help you a lot to develop your good keyboarding skills. Again, if you want to achieve good accuracy and speed, always observe the proper posture, the wrist and finger position, and the finger movements. Thank you and good luck!